in every person's heart, there's this desire to be a part of something bigger than just our own little life. Like we, we want to do something that's big. We want to do something that's lasting. We want to do something that's enduring for generations. So I was in my bedroom in Texas and just asking the Lord, okay, are we on track with what you're telling us to do? And I feel like God says, you're called to church planting. And I thought, okay, great. That's what we're doing in San Diego, California. I go downstairs and tell Steph, like, I think God just called us to San Diego, California. And she ends up going, woohoo. So we sold our house and packed up our stuff. And then the moving truck says, okay, what's the address to go to? And I said, San Diego. So this is where I stayed that first night. We drove into town and I get here and I'm overlooking these two adult entertainment shops. And I'm just thinking, what in the world? We don't have anyone with this. Our team hasn't landed yet. We don't know anyone in San Diego. We haven't found a place to live. And I'm going, God, what did we just do? And I, I feel alone. I feel overwhelmed. My family's asleep in bed. And I just sense the Holy Spirit saying, you guys will get to see the greatest revival that this city has ever seen. And man, in that moment, I just break down. I start weeping and to say, God, it's all worth it if we get to see you move. Yeah, so 10 years ago, this is where it all started. This is the house, like six houses from San Diego State Campus and this humble beginning of gathering students from the state campus and, and bringing in street kids and homeless from City Heights and we were all just meeting in that living room and it just started growing and growing and growing and soon different students in these different homes were coming to know Jesus. Like in that home, every single one of the students that was living there came to know Jesus and it changed from the biggest keg party house to an all people's life group. It was just amazing what we were seeing until we finally outgrew and then had to start searching for a public place to meet. I have this sign in my house that says, home is where your story begins. And that's really what happened in the beginning days of the church. People would come into our home and we'd have people for dinner. Night after night, I remember just about 14 nights straight of just people eating around our table. You know, our desire was from the start, people would see Jesus. So think about how many hours we spent here in Rosa Parks and City Heights, doing the drama, doing the dance, gathering these people, praying for the sick. Man, we've had amazing times here. And it was always just our heart that we thought that Jesus wanted us to preach good news to the poor and to bring everyone into that. It's been amazing. Probably the most beautiful part of the church is seeing people's lives be absolutely transformed. It's not a religion. It's not a just a church service that someone comes to once a week. It's a lifestyle. If this gospel has gotten a hold of you, you can't hold it in. And you're on this crazy adventure of taking it into unreached places and getting to partner with him to see lives transformed and walls come down and addictions broken off and seeing his kingdom come on earth just like the disciples did in the book of Acts. It's just this incredible privilege that we get to be a part of. We've always had this desire, God, give us a place that's our own. Give us a place where we can be a light to this city and then a light to this region and ultimately a light to the nations. Today, we're getting to announce that we have the unprecedented opportunity to build a facility on a highway to be a light to the city that is going to outlast us. I mean, I just think this structure is gonna be there for generations to see, like, God is being worshiped in the heart of San Diego. When people are in the greatest storms of their life, they wanna know where the lighthouse is, and we get to be a light on a hill for people in their greatest, darkest hour. 
this project that we're doing is going to be a launching pad for transformation, not just for a neighborhood, not just for a city, although those things are so important, not just for a region, not just for the nation, but the nations of the world. God has given us this global mandate to take the gospel here, there, and everywhere. I can't think of a greater thing to give our finances to, our time to, our prayers to, than establishing a 24-7 home, a beachhead of light to a city and light to the nations. And I just want to ask you, will you give your best? Will you bring what you have to establish a place where the kingdom of God is advancing on earth just like it is in heaven. That is our desire, that's our mandate, that's our calling, and that's what we're believing is gonna happen through this project.